Amen. Before I begin, I'm just going to give you um, a little a little information about myself. Um, as Jim said, my name is Kenneth Fleming, Minister Kenneth Fleming. Um, I preach over at Providence Missionary Baptist Church. It's located on the corner of um, Wisconsin and Keeler here in the Beloit area. Um, as of July 10th, um, I will have a year in the ministry over there as the associate minister under Pastor Robert F. Dansbury. And before I begin, um, I would like to um, have a little prayer. If you guys will all um, please help me and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you as humbly as I know how in your precious Son, Jesus' name. Giving you thanks, Father God, and honor and glory for this day, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for allowing me to come into the presence of these people, Father God, and speak to them, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for your will. I thank you for your purpose. And I thank you, Father God, for this day. I thank you for this awesome day that you have made, Lord God. And Father in heaven, I just ask and pray that you just use me, Father God. Bless me to decrease that you may increase within me, Father God. And speak only what you would have me to speak, Father God. Father in heaven, I just ask and pray that you have your way and let your will be done. In your precious son, Jesus' name, I pray unto you forevermore. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. And, um... Before I begin to share a little bit about myself, um, I'm going to start um, by reading the scripture. I don't know if anyone has their Bibles with them, um, but um, the scripture will be coming from Matthew, Matthew chapter 4, verses 16 and 17. And it was led on my heart to share this with the people. The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And upon those who sat in the region and the shadow of death, light has dawned. From that time, Jesus began to preach to say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Amen. And I just have to give my testimony that I was called at a young age, I was called at the age of 12 to be a minister, actually to be a preacher, to deliver God's word. And at that time, it was very confusing for me because being 12 years old, I mean, you don't know anything about life. You don't know anything about the experiences of life and really, and really what life is all about until you go out there, you know. But it's like, as I lived, as I lived and I went through my life, you know, I went through many trials and tribulations, many ups and downs to get where I am today. Um, I'm 30 years old. And Lord willing, I thank him that I was able to accept my calling a year ago and to accept this calling and to be a minister serving him for the rest of my life. Now, at 12 years old, or actually actually my entire life, I've lived a very impoverished life. I lived a life where I've lived from the ghetto to the meadows, as I say. I've lived from the south side of Chicago, 2222 South State, and the projects to living and growing up here in Beloit to living in Walworth County um, where I graduated from high school. And along the road, I've had many struggles. I've had many ups and downs. And the, and the thing that I found the most